Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and I am so excited today to present to you six, count them, six completed journals that I have that are going to be in my Etsy shop ready for sale as of the posting of this video. Now, um, I've been a busy little bee, got a little extra time at home so I'm able to make some more journals. Very excited about that. Now these journals are more along the lines of a writing journal. Yes, yes, I can make a writing journal. Okay, well, it's my version of a writing journal. So what that means is that these are these have more complete writing pages in them, dedicated to writing, and probably 99% of the stuff in there is not glued down. So it's all removable and the book will uh, condense and it will be very easy to write on. Now, I want to tell you that um, there's some similarities and some differences between all these books and I'm just going to run down the similarities and then you can see the differences as we look through. So quick note, um, they're all made from vintage or antique books. I've used the book covers and either enhanced them or left them as is depending on the prettiness of the book cover. Um, every one of them comes with a spine dangle. Uh, there are two, hi, the birdies are in fine form this morning. Hi, babies. Yes, yes, mommy's doing a video. Uh-huh. Um, there are two signatures in every journal and a total of 80 pages front and back uh, uh, in every journal. And I would say probably um, most of the pages are blank pages for writing. There's a couple, you know, of interest pages, um, book pages and things like that just to, for eye candy, for interest, for inspiration. But most of the pages are blank for writing, journaling, note-taking, drawing, whatever you would like. Um, there is a removable in secret interior journal tucked into every one of these journals. And I'll show you what that looks like when we go through. There is a notepad that I've created that is uh, uh, adhered to the front inside cover of every journal. And I'll show you what that looks like when we go through. In the back, uh, in the covers, there are what I call uh, tucks where you can put things. <laughs> like you can put journal cards, you can put different things like that. And I've put in a few starter pieces for you there, but it's really for you to explore and add your own things. So those can be removed. The tucks stay, but the things I put in there can be removed. Okay. Um, other exciting thing. There are signature tabs. So you're going to find uh, signature tabs. There's two signature tabs in each book because there are two signatures. And there are many charms uh, located in each book. And the charms are located, um, I have paper clipped a lot of the uh, old vintage and antique ephemera inside. And uh, on the paper clips, so many of them, I have put little danglies. So there's lots of uh, cute little danglies um, on those paper clips. And in the center of each signature, there's a little paper, uh, charm on the, um, on the two strings that come down the center. And what else can I tell you? Hi, Holly. He's, he's raring to go today. Okay, got that. Oh, I put a uh, I put some of my artwork. It's a reproduction, so it's a print of some of my watercolor designs, and there's one in every journal. So that's there too. Um, and the antique and vintage ephemera can all be removed. Okay. And the biggest, I, I just thought this would be easier for the video. The biggest one is eight and a half by five and three quarter inches. And the smallest one is six and three quarter inches by four and a quarter. So those are the size variations because all the books, the book covers are different sizes and I'll have the sizes, the actual sizes in the Etsy shop um, uh, listing. So you can actually see the size of that one. And um, the average three inch gator mouth and the spines uh, range from one and a half to three quarter inch spines. So that can, oh, and they also all have um, uh, metal book uh, corner protectors as well. Forgot to add that, okay. Um, so yes, so here we are. So let's take a look at these. All right, let me raise my desk up a little bit. And they are um, similar, but a little bit different on the insides depending on the papers that I used, but most of the papers are very similar. Okay, so here we go, let's take a peekies. All right, so first of all, oh yeah, there's also a key on the outside of every book. Yep, let me raise you up a little bit. Okay, so here's what, this is what I'm gonna call Dickens Works, okay? Because it says Dickens Works on the front. <laughs> and here's what she looks like at the back, okay? And she has, a beautiful dangly here 
uh, a nice spine dangle, which also has some, this one has a key on the outside, as well as a little ring tied to it. It's like a little, okay, it's not a real diamond ring, but it's like a faux diamond ring. Yeah, hanging from the side. And these uh, spine dangles are all removable. Okay, so you might want to use the spine dangle when you are uh, maybe putting the book on a shelf for de decor or something like that. But um, let me just zoom you in here a little so you can see. Okay, let's take a peek -see. Okay, so inside here, um, this is a notebook that I have placed on the inside cover for quick notes. Maybe you want to, you know, do your shopping list or uh, ideas for journals that you're making, something like that. And they're all basically the same construct but they all look a little bit different and I put a few paper clips on these too as well so that you could have uh, extra paper clips to play with. Uh, these covers uh, some of them have uh, collaged paper oh here is my little uh, every one of them has a uh, note a little about this journal a note from the bookmaker and I have signed and stamped the back of each of them okay that gets tucked there and a collage cover for this signature on this one. Here is the reproduction of one of my uh, paintings that I've tucked in here. Here's uh, some, this is the 1911 version, uh, sorry, 1916 version of my um, Sears and Robux catalog, the real one. Here is a, now I'm gonna show you, see these pages you can write on. <laughs> yes, yes, you can. There's some stamping on them and you can take these things out and then you even have more paper to write on. So lots of writing paper in here. Um, so that's what I thought I'd make more um, along the lines of a, a real writing journal. Okay, but I can't help myself. You know me, I'm a stuffer. I always put more in. Okay, so here we have an 1890 prescription. Okay, writing paper. Uh, there might be some light stamping on it just for interest. Here is a beautiful old uh, Victorian antique cabinet card uh, on a music page. Here is an old uh, handwritten, is this a handwritten letter? Let me see. Yes, it's a handwritten letter. Yes, and this one I believe is in German. This is a German handwritten letter. I think so. Yeah, I think that's, that's German. Pretty sure. <laughs> And so just a pretty page, some map. Here's some receipts from 1923. Here's a beautiful coffee dyed paper that can be written on. Here's an old receipt, some uh, tracing paper. Here's the center of the first signature. Sorry about that. Here are the two charms. We have a clock and a key and some more tracing paper. Here's a beautiful uh, 1890s Victorian uh, trade card. Here is a Victorian calling card, a real one. So if you've never touched one of those, this could be your big opportunity. Here is a check from the railroad in 1848, from 1848. Pretty cool. There's the danglies. Here's a beautiful uh, Valentine card, which I, I got a kick out of this. Apparently Blanche, this is Blanche and Georgie. And Blanche said, I want to be caught. <laughs> I think that is so cute. All right, here's an apothecary label, a real one from olden days. Here's a beautiful piece of uh, ledger from 1866. It's a full page, as you can see. Okay, and I'm just showing you some of the ones uh, like fully in this first one. I won't open every single one of them as we go through, but I just want you to see kind of what you get. Um, Oh, oh, and here is the secret inside uh, removable journal inside the journal. So if you can see, it's like this. And uh, I guess you could almost consider this a third signature, but it is removable. This one is a, um, a collaged page. See that? It says notes on the front with some fabric. And uh, it has a little lace uh, trim there and some gold around the edges. And inside here, there's a, a little tuck for with a journal card and lots of pretty paper to write upon. So let's say you want to, you're going into a class or you want to take some notes. This is going to give you a little take one, take with you. You can take that with you and go. Yes. All right. So the second signature, it has some uh, coffee dyed stenciling. We did that the other day. Another uh, check, some a book page, another Victorian uh, trading card, writing paper. 
Uh, this is a receipt, and this is a Victorian uh, trading card, some beautiful coffee dyeing here. And here is some uh, centro, center paper with some beautiful stenciling on it with uh, dyes. Here are two more. Uh, here's a heart clock or a spin wheel and a beautiful key. And uh, there is another Victorian card, some more coffee dyed paper, another beautiful receipt some graph, uh, ledger paper. Here is a um, autograph page out of an autograph book to Betty. And here is an 1859 beautiful uh, piece of ledger. Yahoo! Okay, more writing paper, writing paper. Here is a, um, a little handwritten envelope with, uh, who's in there? I think it's a card. Yes. This is a little, I think it's a Christmas card. Yeah, beautiful vintage Christmas card for you to explore. A little bit of washi tape. And here's a beautiful old picture of a boat from days gone by. Very lovely. I'll tuck you there. And here's another receipt. And another, this is, letters used to actually be this small. This is the coolest thing. Um, this is from 1916. And I just have to show you this because it's so cool. In a letter. It's actually tucked inside. That's the letter. Yeah. So it opens up right? like that long. Okay. But that, you know, I mean, we don't send letters that small anywhere uh, anymore, but uh, I thought that was kind of neat. And it took two stamps, two stamps to get that letter to you. So that'll, that'll show you, right? That'll show you. <laughs> okay. We need to write more letters, don't we? Wouldn't that be nice again? We all just went back to writing letters. Yeah, forgot about email. <laughs> okay, so here is the back, and um, this has a, a little, let me just show you a little closer. It has a Victorian uh, trading card here, but it also has a little tab with a key on it indicating there is something to do, and an apothecary label. It's covered in some cheesecloth and some dictionary page, and okay, whoop, okay, you want to go over here? Fine, that's fine. We'll figure out where you went. Um, it has these two flips. It has one flip and two little uh, tucks here. These have been coffee dyed. And I just tucked in some starter journal cards, just very fun and basic ones for, uh, so that you could decorate them and you could do fun things with them. There's an old photograph from the St. Moritz, maybe the St. Moritz or St. Moritz Hotel. Not sure, but I thought that was kind of cool. And here's more journaling cards for you to write upon. Tucked in here and here is an old handwritten letter and uh, my dear children mm, I love that okay there you go letter from mom all right so close her up and this is Dickens okay so this is Dickens work and that's how uh, she will be titled titled in the Etsy shop so if you're interested in Dickens work that's what's going on all right let me put you over here Dickens and we'll get the next one and the next one I'm going to call uh, let's just call it notes because it says notes on the front and she has a key glued to the front. She has a uh, journal uh, pl uh, placard or a um, book plate here. She has the uh, metal corner protectors. They're all a little bit different in design because I'm using different items and different books, but uh, the same uh, basic construct inside. And she has this little collage of sewn uh, music paper and a um, uh, Victorian image of a flower. Very pretty. And she has a beautiful little spine dangle, which is also removable. And she has some goldies in it with laces and things like that and ribbons. Okay, let me take that off. Put you there. And on her side, she has a key. Um, let me just, you can see her a little bit. That's what she looks like. Okay, and we'll do a quick flip through her. So here is her notebook in the or notepad in the front here is her letter she has the um, collage page and uh, here she has this beautiful pink receipt from 1877 clipped inside here and also here is a picture of my um, a watercolor that I did watercolor and that is signed and now we're just going to go through here's the tab Victorian die card, lots of, see all the blank pages that you can write on. I didn't clutter them all up. Okay, there's an apothecary label that can be removed. And here's a beautiful, uh, be I love this, love this picture. Uh, 
probably a bride or First Communion or something. She looks very young, but you know, they did marry very young back then. Uh, this is an antique uh, cabinet card, which is just gorgeous. And here is, this has a clock face, an old clock face and a key on the inside dangling from these uh, stamped uh, stenciled pages. And there's a Helen Keller stamp up there. I think Helen Keller got glued in. Yeah, I couldn't help myself. Okay, here's an 18, I think that's 18, well, 1879 maybe. Uh, but here's a big piece of ledger. Very pretty. Lots of danglies. Oh, I didn't show you the danglies on this one. Let me show you the danglies. This one has all sorts of different stylized of danglies on the side. Okay. And there's that little lovely position, position. Okay, we showed you that. And here's a little cluster. Yep, I started to decorate, but then I, I retracted. I said, no, 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 this is for writing. Here's a beautiful little letter. I believe this is a German letter as well. And there's a little cluster in the corner here. A Victorian calling card. And here is a 1924 Mechanics National Bank piece of paper. These, it's old, see, and it's got the, uh, as if it was uh, like a canceled check type thing where they punch the holes in it. Very cool. All right, beautiful coffee dyed paper, music paper. I love this little image of this little boy and his dog by the side of the house. That's, that's just, that's amazing. Here, eat my lunch, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, and here is a sewn page. And now we're coming across the tucked in secret journal inside here, okay. I just need to get this out. Okay, so here it is. This is a collaged journal. All sorts of fun on the cover there. It's also sewn around the edges. And in here, oh, I guess this, oh no, this is correct. Yes, <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. Okay, um, <laughs> uh, inside here, inside of this little tuck, there is an envelope. And inside this envelope, there's a very pretty uh, Victorian um, your kind cooperation is contribute materially to our to our success. So it's basically a thank you and accept our best wishes. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. So a little thing from olden days tucked in there. And this goes in here. So um, you can tuck things in. A little hand-sewn envelope there for your pleasure. And all sorts of... Uh, oh, this paper I didn't tell you. Um, I put in coffee dyed paper, avocado dyed paper, and even some uh, purple cabbage paper. And I don't know if it picks it up on the camera, but this cabbage paper came out the most beautiful blue. It's really lovely. Um, here's some graph paper, college rule. Here's the avocado dyed papers. Um, some coffee sprayed papers, coffee dyeing, all sorts of fun different papers so that you can have lots of places to write on. And here's another little uh, tucked journal card with an envelope. Okay, so this goes here. Next tab. Uh, here is a, a letter. Okay, it's a very interesting letter actually. Um, a journaling card and a map. And here in the center of this signature, you get uh, like a steampunk uh, gear, uh, like a watch, that's a watch piece. It's supposed to look like a watch piece. And um, a key in the center and these beautiful uh, botanical images in the center. Oh, I love this. This is a great postcard. You, you gotta see this. It says, uh, photograph 1908. Now, who knows if that's real or not? I, I'm thinking, I don't know, in 1908? I don't know. That, that would be quite the thing. But it does say, and it's, it's written on this one, and they wrote it upside down, and it says, Dear Uncle Cy, uh, can you raise corn to beat this? You can purchase uh, the seed uh, of me. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. <laughs> he was joking with his uncle there. I thought that was kind of funny. Um, and here is a little postcard, and uh, I think this is a newer postcard, but it's made to look old, but it's kind of pretty, and it goes with the theme, so I tuck that in there. And here's the old page from the Sears Roebuck catalog. And oh, and this one I tucked uh, some paper doll. Uh, these are the actual paper doll dresses. And I think there's like one or two dresses and you got some hair. And this is what the doll is supposed to look like. And you kind of put it together. It's sort of fun. So that might bring back some memories. I love those paper dolls. Um, we should bring more kids should be playing with paper dolls and get rid of all that crazy stuff, right? All the computer games and everything. They can go. Gone. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I've been guilty of playing a computer game, so I can't say. Here's a, just to let you know, a little note, what's cooking, a little uh, postcard. It's a little vintage one, and here's some uh, pretty sprayed paper. One stamp in the back of this one. They're all a little bit different in the back, but they all kind of cover the same concept where it's going to be a place to tuck things. And in here, I put some uh, pretty little, uh, this is raised and embossed with uh, modeling paste, um, dyed papers, uh, journal cards. And here's some matching ones here. These were fun to do. I have a video on this and it's um, either coming out or it's, it's out, um, but I'll show you how to make those. Very easy, very fun. And uh, here's a journaling card in the back here. A little bit of advertising. That's how they used to advertise way back when. And a postcard, an old vintage postcard. So there you go. You got your two tucks and this one opens that way. So there you go. So that we're going to call notes. This is notes. She is red and she has the flower on the front. So if you're interested in notes, uh, she'll be in the Etsy shop. Alrighty. And the next one is, I'm going to call this one a path to home because it says a path to home on it. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So I decorated the front on this a little bit. She also comes with a very beautiful, uh, I put a uh, shank button dangle on her here. And uh, she also has a key on the back. And let me take this off and just show you that. She comes with her own spine dangle and she has a little book plate on the front you can write something in there if you like i just left it neutral so you could enjoy it as is and uh, that's what she looks like now remember all these books are aged and weathered naturally so there's going to be some little dings and stains and spots because they are old books so just kind of know that um, but i think that adds to the character and uh, here's the notepad in front with a couple uh, paper clips that's what she looks like inside here is her note from the bookmaker on top of the collaged uh, journal cover page and her page tab and here is she has a beautiful red flower i thought well she's got a red flower she's red uh, no she's not red sorry she's green so uh, i i don't know why i put her in there she just she just goes okay <laughs> and uh, here's a, uh, some of them i put stamps and rubber stamping and some i put um, different images and pictures and stickers depending on the flow love this guy um, a beautiful image of a farmer sitting out in the field, just uh, relaxing a little bit. Hard day's work. Guy needs a break, right? Absolutely. Oh, let me show you her, her dangles. Uh, she's got lots of dangles too. All sorts of different fun things that are hanging from her. Uh, fun things to explore. And this is a path to home. This, she houses an 1854 ledger page. Yes. <laughs> and a very tiny little letter. Uh, with a handwritten letter inside from 1910. Very cool. Very cool. Pretty little sticker there. Here's a lovely little handwritten letter from mm, 1958 or 1918. Not sure, but very interesting letter. And in the center of this first signature, you have, um, a, like, it looks like a, um, it's old Latin written on there and a little uh, flourish. Okay. And here is... Um, some savings and loan papers. Here's a beautiful cabinet card in this one of a lovely family. These are antique. Okay. A Victorian uh, trading card. More of the Sears Roebuck. Um, tracing paper that I coffee dyed. Oh, this is lovely. Isn't she just a little basket of apples? Look at her. So cute. Okay. I uh, love the little white bobsy socks. Remember that? Little like bobsy socks and, sh and shoes, little pat patent shoes. Oh, here's the interior secret um, journal. And this one has a, an owl that has been sewn around, backed on. Uh, th these are eggs from birds. And the back, it, it's uh, made from uh, coffee dyed paper. And it just has a myriad of different uh, papers on the inside. So that's her. Okay tucking in here and we have the uh, coffee dyed uh, coffee spritzed paper uh, a drug and seed store receipt from 1924 so you have this is one of the beautiful uh, purple cabbage pages that's blue love that here's a beautiful card from days gone by and another lovely handwritten letter lots of pages to write and some of the pages open up in her more writing space 
You know, you gotta spread your wings sometimes, right? Here's a map. And here's more writing space and another beautiful handwritten letter. More coffee dyed paper that opens up. Oh, look at score. We have some money from Zambia. That's right. Very interesting. Very beautiful uh, images on this. Uh, look at the beautiful, I think it's an eagle, I want to say. Lovely image of a face and uh, some nature. Isn't that beautiful uh, waterfall? That's real money. Yep. Probably not worth much. I think it's probably defunct at this point, but uh, still beautiful to look at. Uh, art of the times. Okay, we have a clock. Yes, we do, Holly. <laughs> we have a clock and uh, we have a key. Okay, for the center of this. This opens up too and you can write on this paper. And here's a beautiful uh, Eliza. Eliza came by to say hello, her calling card. I've called. I've come and I've called. Beautiful stamps or uh, stickers and here's a real um, library card. Yeah, very neat. Science Fair Projects on Energy. Very nice. And here's um, uh, some presidents. And I don't know, one of them is Spiro Agnew, maybe? And uh, I'm sure you'll help me figure out who they are. Now remember, be gentle on me. I'm from Canada. I grew up in Canada. So I don't know all the, all the names and faces. Here's a very old postcard. It looks like it's from Hawaii. And here's a lovely greeting card. A vintage greeting card. And this one in the back is a little bit different. She, is, she has a tuck back here, so she functions the same. She can store things. And here is an old ski trip, ski valley at some point. Somebody had it. Oh, and that actually looks uh, German. So I don't know why it says ski valley, unless they call it ski valley over there as well. And just some journaling cards, a little bit of extra writing paper. I fold it up in here and an address card all tucked in the back. And, um, but then this little uh, gizmo opens up. I'll show you that. Uh, there's a uh, Victorian uh, calling card on here as well. And this is one of the three hearts. Okay, so now you have four more pages that you can write on as well and maybe be inspired by some Edith Holden as you go. How fun is that? Okay, so this is the path to home. So that's what she looks like. She also has the corner protectors. And uh, like I said, a lot of them are different. And her clip is a little bit different than the other bulldog clip. But uh, she works and functions the same way. And we're on to the third one. For, uh, we're on to the fourth one, actually. Whoop, okay. Now this one, with the little girl on it, um, she also has a spine dangle. I'm going to call her Anniversary Edition because she says Anniversary Edition on the front. Yes. And this is a Victorian uh, uh, trading card. She has um, uh, metal book corners that have been colorized a little bit. I don't know if it picks it up, but there's a little bit of purple and gold on there that I use some alcohol inks on. And uh, she also has a very pretty spine dangle. And I think this is, yes, this is the one I put a, she has a little locket that hangs from her. I thought that looked like a little uh, uh, locket that she might like to wear. Okay, so let me show you her dangles. She's got lots of silver dangles. She was in the silver dangle uh, realm there. And we'll take that off. We get, okay, we'll show you. She also has a little key on the side. And she looks like this in the back and the front. Okay. And open her up. Now she has her little notebook here in the front. Okay, all sorts of pages there. And her collaged page with the notes. And uh, here's the picture I included with her. It's one of my uh, watercolors. And here's a beautiful 1861 piece of ledger. Very lovely. And now I believe I did some stamping throughout this one. And I'll just take a quick flip through so you can get a feel and an idea. Here's a piece of an old stock certificate, a Victorian uh, trading card. Here is a receipt from, I believe that's 1818 or 1898, not, yeah, maybe 1898. And here's a beautiful blue letter. I believe this one is German as well. And in the center here, we have a key and an angel. Okay. And we have, um, this is a new uh, postcard, but it is uh, made to look old, which I thought was pretty. Here's a vocabulary card. Here's some money from, who knows where this is from? Maybe somebody know where this is from. Anybody know where this is from? I want to guess maybe, uh, um, oh, 
Moto Bank. Okay, maybe it's like Singapore or something like that. I'm not sure. But I think it's pretty cool. Wherever it came from, it's very cool. I've had that for a long time. Okay, so here is um, a beautiful receipt from 1906. Yes! <laughs> Lots of excitement over here today. Here is an old uh, uh, wine label and a sewn page underneath. And here is the inserted... Um, oh, let me get you out of there. Okay, gotcha. Uh, here is the journal that is inside of her, and she has a little sash on her and that wraps around and opens her up. She has a little crocheted flower in the corner. Very pretty cover. Okay. And uh, she's been inked around, and she just has beautifulness. Look at the beautiful blue that came out on that. Wow, that's amazing from that purple cabbage. I got I to show you, I'm there, you know, I want to show you how I did it because I think it's uh, it's just amazing. And here's some coffee, uh, avocado dyed and coffee dyeing and all sorts of crispy crunchies and lots of fun to write on. So there you go. That's, that's her little interior journal. She fits nicely here. And uh, remember, this is anniversary edition. So the one with the little girl, anniversary edition. Here's an old um, Victorian calling card or uh, trading card. Another receipt. Uh, a check from... I believe that's 1847 or 1842. Beautiful coffee dyeing there. Look at that. And uh, I do say myself. Um, <laughs> uh, 1898. There is a receipt. And here is a, uh, a picture of a historical image. It's a, a, a postcard. Here's a beautiful little collector card. An original of a train. And here's this inside, and you have the Tree of Life and a cross. And Eliza came to visit, yes, with her Victorian calling card. And here's a beautiful postcard of, it looks like lilac bushes or something. I'm not sure what that is, but it's a purple, purple plant, butterfly. And here is um, from the autograph book, More Betty, yes. <laughs> In the high school, and here's uh, two fake drops in the corner. How fun is that? Okay, some stamping, and here's a picture of an old, I believe these are uh, film stars. That's a real one. Little collector cards, and this is a card from Days Gone By. Beautiful uh, flower. Some more pages to write on. And in the back here, uh, this little uh, Lace flower here denotes that this can be opened. So we open it. Oh, and this one has an extra flip out. Yes. So they're all, like I said, a little bit different. Here's writing space. These are uh, a couple of cards that you can write on. Okay, some journaling cards. I put an extra uh, big paper clip there. And in here, you know, this lovely little girl might have some extra calling cards. She's working her way up. And in the front,